I need to be in charge. And why is that exactly? Well, first of all, because Raymond asked me to be. And he still is the district attorney, Nico. How much you want that title? OT, how are you? Very good, how's it going? It is going great. I am loving Presumed Innocent so far. Right. How are you loving hating Jake Gyllenhaal's guts on screen? Oh, I mean, it's tough because he's a very likable man, but we managed to make it through. <laughs> what is it that first uh, really excited you about your character and the script? Well, I mean, the, the character is ostensibly such a, like, he just wants justice, but really deep down, he's kind of like a self-interested character. I just thought it was so interesting, that kind of, like, shift of uh, incentives. Absolutely. David E. Kelly is always in his bag when it comes to legal thrillers. What's your favorite thing about working with him? Uh, well, he's just a master, and it's just, you know, even as you read the script, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. So it's fun to read, and it's fun to play. Now this is based on a book, it's already been a movie before. Can you say if it's going to be uh, different than the original? I cannot say. <laughs> but, uh, because mainly because it would spoil it for people. I think it's so surprising, each episode is surprising. When you get to the end, your mind's blown. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, speaking of the end, we may finally be coming upon the next season of The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, Luke was not in a great place last time we saw him. Is anyone ever in a good place in The Handmaid's Tale? Absolutely. What can you say about season six? Well, I can say that it's going to be a banger. I mean, I've been had early conversations with some of the writers and directors, and I think this might be the best season. Mm, all right, big words. Thank you so much. Have a great yeah. night. <laughs> For the record, until I win the election, and I'm going to win, I will remain your loyal and trusted It's Rusty's service. case, all right? Tommy, you cannot see straight on things.